We're rolling. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Hey, what's up? I'm Nick and Knight here in the KTFM studio. It's my pleasure to introduce you, Cher Lloyd. Cher, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Oh, thank you. Now, um, I love your accent, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. And um, where were you before you came to San Antonio today? I was in Austin. And where were you before that? I was in London oh, at nice. home. So, so you flew straight across. Yeah. Awesome. So how long is the flight? Um, well, I had to fly to Chicago first to then get on a flight to Austin. Okay. So that was like, I traveled for like the whole day. Now, because you're kind of new, I kind of want to start from the beginning when uh, Cher Lloyd was little Cher Lloyd, okay? Okay. Uh, tell me about your upbringing, you know? Um, I know you're from London. Um, mm -hmm. What was it like growing up? Yeah, I, I had a really okay upbringing, yeah. I'm not going to say it was really, really good and I had everything I ever wanted, because I didn't. <laughs> um, but I'm making up for that now. You know. So do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I've got a brother and two little sisters, yeah. So you're the oldest? Oldest. Nice. Now, um, uh, so how did you get uh, started with the X Factor in London? Like, um, was it an audition process? Or? Yeah, I mean, there's lots of auditions before the actual audition where you get to meet the judges. That always happens. So I went when I was 16, and I'm 18 now, and... Um, and I went to audition, and I managed to get through to the first round, and then it kept getting really, really good, and I kept going through all the rounds until I got to, like, the final five. So what do you think was the the draw point for X Factor? Like, what, what, what made them really go after you? I mean, obviously, you're, you had an amazing voice, and you're very talented, but um, it seems like there's always kind of a storyline behind yeah. all the X Factor. I mean, I didn't have a sub story, because lots of people have one of those. Yeah. They always say, I'm doing it for so-and-so, or this happened to me or I didn't have a sob story so I just wanted to be me and I think what I brought to the show was very different and to look at me you'd think I would just be like a normal average singer I think I just choose my music very carefully and you you kind of you definitely have a hip-hop appeal to your yeah. music now uh, what were some of your hip-hop inspirations some of the people you listened to growing Ooh. up that you inspire your style behind maybe I mean, for my first audition, I sang a Carrie Hilson song, which is, which was a big step for me because I loved that song and I was really scared about it because it's, it's, it's not your average TV show song. Mm -hmm. And I thought they actually wouldn't want to play it on TV because it was so, you know, across that line between pop and hip-hop. So probably people like her... And now, I, I also saw that you did a, a few of Eminem's songs. Uh-huh. Um, that seems like it's kind of a tough challenge. I mean, yeah. he really gets after it sometimes with the, with his flowing and his rap and his, you know, and his pace. Mm -hmm. um, did, was it challenging for you, or do you just kind of find it easy? Um, I never find anything easy. If I find it easy, I won't do it. It's mm -hmm. simple to me. I feel like I like a challenge. And I love messing up as well. I and love it. That? I just love it when I when I do something wrong, because then I can walk away from it and I can learn. Right. I feel like I've got a lot to learn. And I can't help but notice you got uh, several tattoos. How many tattoos yeah. do you have? About 20. And which ones mean the most to you? They all mean something to me. I don't get them just for the sake of it. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got a good collection going on. I see a couple quotes. Uh, can you read a couple of them to us? <laughs> I get really embarrassed doing stuff like this, because it's like... I don't know. You know when you see people with tattoos and you look at them and you think, you kind of know what it means, but like you won't know what it means. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah because every, <laughs> everybody's perception is personal. And so, yeah. and so the quote might mean something to you, but to somebody else it might not mean something totally different. Yeah. Well, what does uh, the one on your right arm say? That says, pocket full of dreams. Nice. And are you living your dream now? Definitely. Cool. So um, now... Uh, it's kind of a, I guess, a sensitive topic per se, but uh, cyberbullying. Uh, it's, right. it's, it's been all over uh, television and media lately. Uh -huh. um, you fell victim to it a little bit. Uh, it seemed like there was kind of a, people can be very hateful sometimes just for no reason at right. all. Right, yeah. Um, you you kind of came under fire. How did you deal with it? You know, like, because uh, you obviously see it and hear it, but, you know, what, what helped you to get past all that? I mean, it's not easy for anyone to go through that sort of thing. But I feel like every individual has a certain way of dealing with something. And, you know, the way that I dealt with it was I looked at it. I took it in. I might have had a cry about it. But then, I hate to say it, I got over it. Because I have to, because I'm in the public eye. See, and the way that I dealt with it, there's many people out there that couldn't deal with it like that. 
But the advice that I'd always give is to tell someone about it. Don't sit in the dark and think about it to yourself. It's always good to add someone else to the situation to help you out. Yeah, dwelling's never good. No, it's not good. I've done that. It's <laughs> not good. Now, uh, now that kind of works perfectly into your album, Sticks and Stones. Uh-huh, yeah. Now, um, it, it was at the base behind it, kind of like, yeah. you know, no matter what, you know, Sticks and Stones might hurt me, but your yeah. words never will. Yeah. Now, um, it's available in the UK, uh-huh. and it hasn't been released yet in the US. No. So when is the release date here in the US? Well, the thing is, we were discussing this, you know, me and my team, and I felt like... The album I released is like almost like a year ago now. I feel like it's ages ago. I feel like I need to do more to it because I've changed as an artist. You know, everyone develops. I just want to get back in the recording studio and just make a few more tracks just to make it more current and then it'll be out nice. as soon as possible. Now, your debut single, I Want You Back. Mm-hmm. Um, have you been through this situation before? Is that a real life experience? Or no. are we just kind of speaking on behalf of... I'm speaking on the behalf of people that actually are so stupid to actually want someone that they dumped back. <laughs> like, who does that? I don't know who does that. Because it, if you dump them, you dump them for a reason. Definitely. It, it, <laughs> it, there's no reason to, to go backwards. You know, you should no. always move forward. There's nothing wrong with still being friends and keeping the, the memory alive for sake of... I don't of, know. I've never you... stayed friends with anyone I've ever been with. Never? No. no. Well. Bye. <laughs> well, I guess you got to move forward somehow. Now, um, there's uh, tons of you're one of, you're one of many artists to come from the UK lately. Um, yeah. It seems like they're just flooding right now. Right. Um, a lot of really good music coming out of uh, out of London or out of the UK. Now, um, I'm gonna say a couple artist names and you just tell me the first thing that comes to mind. Right. Uh, Adele. Do you know? I can't think of like one word, but I can sum her up as actually being the most inspirational person from the UK. Like, we are proud of her. That's the only artist that I'd say that about. Really? The She's a gem. One. Yes. Now, uh, One Direction. Mm, they're fun. A lot of teenage screaming girls like them. Jesse J. She's very different. Okay. And very The Wanton. Uh, they're a boy band, you know, so... Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> whatever you want to take that and do whatever you want with it. You, you know, um, I, I was watching them at the uh, Billboard Music Awards, right? And, uh, they reminded me of In Sync minus the dancing. Oh, really? Uh, just because it was five guys. Do you know what? And- do you know what makes me laugh? With every boy band, they do this um, really weird thing when they're on stage, and all they do is jump, and yes. that's it. And then they'll just walk around and just jump. Yeah, yeah. What sure. is that? Jumping rhythm. I don't know. I, th- I just think it? it's uh, it's it's dance moves where people with uh, can't really dance. Just- right. Yeah. It's oh, maybe it's like the nerves. Do you dance? Yeah, dance. Well, I try. <laughs> nice. It's, it's, um, now, um, I got a couple questions from Twitter real quick. Okay. Uh, with uh, your lo- well, with your love for hip hop and rap, who do you look up to? Who do I look up to? I look up to Nicki Minaj a lot. I think because she is the type of person that y- you could just imagine walks into a room and she lights it up. And whatever she says or she does, she does it because she wants to do it. And that's what I want to do. Not be deaverish about it, though. Just do what I feel is best. And uh, I know you're on Twitter. Um, mm-hmm. It's at Cher Lloyd, C-H-E-R-L-L-O-Y-D. Yeah. And um, are there any other websites where people can go find your music or download um, your stuff? Yeah, I do have a website, and it's um, com. Easy. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, real quick, because uh, I know you're going to do an acoustic version for us of, of your new single. Yeah. Um, before we get to that, I, when I heard your name for the first time, Cher, mm-hmm. I could only think of Cher from Sonny and Cher. Like, yeah. did, did you feel any weight from that, or are you just kind of like, you know, that's my name, I don't care, I'm just going to do my thing? Um, I think it'd be weird if I was called anything else, you know. True. I think everyone feels that. Definitely. I mean, I couldn't just change it tomorrow, it's too late for that now. I've been on the telly. <laughs> No doubt. Um, well, I want to say thank you for coming to San Antonio, and oh, I appreciate you stopping you. by. It's been a pleasure. Uh, you're a true doll, and I really enjoy uh, oh, enjoy your single, you. and I wish you all the success. Thank you. Um, it's Cher Lloyd, ladies and gentlemen.